Do you want me to introduce it? I think this poem is called. Have you got a title? Yeah. Maybe just say the title and then back in. She left. Well, getting dressed has taken half an hour. I'm Natasha Brooks. I am a video artist. I am 37. I nearly said 29 then. I forgot, I'm also a mother of two. My name's Tessa. I'm 28 and I'm an artist. We've just seen the Bothy for the first time, we think. We come from Where is the Bothy, the actual dot? There. Oh, wait, oh, I don't feel like it's right. Yeah, this is oh, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see water actually over there. My name's Claire and I'm 30 and I do a collection of different things, um, mainly involving words and mountains. Shouldn't have winked. <laughs> We're in the Chenevel Bothy, which is one of the Mountain Bothy Association's small huts in the wilderness. We are here to spend time away from our normal everyday lives, have adventures, and switching off in a way. I am trying to use this space to come up with some writing. I am going to make some animations in the water. I've been doing some drawing. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. It's raining. Okay, I'm going to try and read it really deadpan. She left. She left her boots in a sack with her friends, turned east and ran with the lock. I've got another idea. I might take all the lines out. She felt the dog settle into the tack and they sailed with the bog cotton towards the bothy. The valley spread around them like a deep sleeping bag, as although she was running, she was also asleep and dreaming and spread eagled across Scotland. And the wide grasses and bleached trees rose through her forehead and a small red river stone pressed against her lips. Is that any better? Brightening up! It was grim all night, and when we woke up, it was really bad. I've just written the word three several times and the word movement. <laughs> I think I might need to go outside. <laughs> she left the trail and turned towards the mountain. She felt the others drop below and the valley swing around her as she took the sky in and out. <laughs> as she worked, she felt the contours around her begin to flow.
The scree ran down the mountainside to collect in her stomach. The footpaths rose out across the map and stretched through her forehead, pressing on for the sea. Found some snacks. It's amazing. Someone's been hiding them the whole time. Open them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Ravenous, in fact. Oh, and my legs hurt. <laughs> oh, what a wimp. I've worked with water a lot in my artwork um, because I think with my hobbies, swimming and surfing and freediving, yeah, water, it's, well, I just like, I just like getting wet. <laughs> She left the shore and waded across the shallow bay of cold, dark water. As she began to swim, it looked as if she was sewing a seam across the lock. Each stroke gathered an armful of sky and pinned it to the water. Her elbows flickering in and out like a herringbone stitch between the light refracting between the angles of the waves. She felt the cold shadow of Anchalak as she grazed the summit reflection with her fingers. Her mouth filled with the sweet salt lock and the glacial depth of the valley flooded against her forehead. Although they have now left, the giants open their heads here. What's happening? Um, we're packing up to leave. We don't want to go home. Those summits are their dreams. That lock, their last drink. <laughs> we cough up small rocks, open our hands to find frogs. Freak. Have to stop to empty our pockets of bones. <laughs> Chenival is a falling space. Come here to step away, swim a lock, draw a mountain, run a valley, to leave. 